Well, good evening everyone and welcome to another Steve Smith cooking video. Um, tonight I'm preparing rice ariso with a secret ingredient. For this dish I've got here with me now 500 grams of beef mince, a packet of rice ariso chicken, and I did try and get bantam but there's no bantam, just chicken, some onions, vegetable stock, spring onions, snow peas, bell peppers, commonly called capsicums, there's some crushed pineapple pieces, and we have over here some parsley, pepper and salt, granulated nuts, and under that bowl there is the mystery ingredient. We're keeping that a secret that there'll be a reveal of the mystery ingredient at the end when I've prepared the dish. I can't expose the mystery ingredient too early because there's other competing vloggers that will try and steal my recipe and quickly put it onto the YouTube before I get my recipe on. And they will absolutely take the, the rug out from underneath me and, and steal my recipe. So I'm, I'm keeping that to the end as a special feature of the video. Now with this dish, it's a reasonably simple dish, but if you get it wrong, you could actually choke a brown dog on it. It's very, very bad if you get it wrong. So that's why I'm here. I'm here to show you how to do this properly and follow my very basic instructions and you'll have no problem creating a beautiful rice ariso dish. I don't need to use all of this mince. I'm only going to use three quarters of it. So I'll just you don't want any red in it when you're cooking it. Uh, I'd rather eat a frog than eat red beef mince. While the mince is browning, we chop up a couple of these red onions. So that's a relatively, relatively simple for an experienced chef like me. You can use one to two red onions is probably enough. I always expect those chefs when they do that to go ah and come up with no fingers but they don't they always seem to get it right that's the onion done we keep the onion we don't put the onion in yet we brown the meat first we don't want any raw meat flavors going through the onion that wouldn't be very good would it and the capsicum Red capsicum, I didn't, I wasn't able to buy a red capsicum, so I had to just use the remaining half of a capsicum that I had in my fridge, which is not not very desirable, but it's for tonight it'll do. And then just cut it up nice and fine. There we go. Okay, so I've browned the mince. I've chopped up the capsicum, the red capsicum, the green capsicum, and the onion. The mince is almost brown. When it is brown, I'm going to put in all the capsicum and onion and sort of glaze that a little bit and get that ready. The beef mince seems to be ready. Into the beef mince goes the capsicum, the onion, and in it goes. Then at this point, So there's the uh, there's the spring onion. There it is, straight in. So just getting the rice ariso. That's how you do that really quickly. Little packet of flavouring in the rice ariso, and the rest is just rice. Yep, that seems to be okay. Now, when you feel as though the beef is cooked and brown and cooked the onion and the capsicum are glazed. At that point, you then introduce the rice. So, give the rice a bit of a shake. Yep, that all seems to be in order. Have a look here, here it goes. In goes the rice. Perfect. Stir the rice in and you're trying to brown the rice just a little bit, not too much. There it goes, look at that. Then, we get to the exciting part of the recipe. 
pineapple pieces. Very exciting. In they go. Pineapple pieces. There they are. Watch them going into the dish. There they Full can. And then to, to help cook the rice, we introduce now a, an amount of vegetable stock, which I bought from Woolies. There's the vegetable stock. There's the dish. Just put a nice amount of that in there. Wow. In it goes. And that helps to cook it all. So there it is, it's all nice and uh, moist, but firm. And it's all cooked, but we now need to cook the rice in that stock. We'll put it back on the heat. Back on the heat. And we're almost in a position to be able to reveal the mystery ingredient. Yeah. No, it's not that. <laughs> I've got, I have got a bit of an audience here. Oh. Every time I seem to do this, there's this person who watches me. There she is. She adds comments. And I know she thinks she's waiting for the mystery ingredient. Now, to put the mystery ingredient in, I have to go and get my lucky hat. It's in the other room. I'll just go and get it. My lucky hat. I haven't even got the hat today, but it's become my lucky hat. Won't be long. <laughs> oh, here I am back again with my lucky hat. Sent to me today from uh, El Bureau Late for 4666. Incredible. <laughs> it costs... It costs about a month's wages to send a hat to me from, from Leyte, that's amazing. Anyway, that's okay. Now I won't put the hat on yet because the time of the recipe is not ready for it. What I am gonna do, I am gonna add the pepper and salt. Pepper and salt. Salt, pepper. And I like to stir that around a little bit. I like to... Uh, the mince is brown, but I like to have it really well cooked. You don't want any, any awful flavours of raw mince, so we just stir that around a bit and make it. Then I add in the granulated nuts. Here's the granulated nuts. And I've got about a third of a packet left there. In they go. And you could even use that as a mystery ingredient because it's pretty weird to put it in there, but I quite like it. And that's cooking away beautifully. I'm just reducing that down. I'm just re I'm just reducing the um, the dish down now. I'm boiling the water away, cooking the rice, um, kind of uh, capturing the flavours out of all the ingredients. And um, you'll find that in a few moments that'll be just perfect. There's the dish. It's almost ready. It's reducing down. The rice is cooking. The beef is cooked. The um, Oh, the al dente ingredients are parsley and snow peas. So put them in last. But the very next thing we need to do is to add in the mystery ingredient. It's under here. Right, get ready. Yep. Sultanas. Mystery ingredient is sultanas, but that's... That's a secret just between me and the viewer, all right? Let's see how they go. In they go. Not many people would think of this, but it's a good ingredient to include. There we go, in, the, in go the, the uh, mystery ingredients, the sultanas. And that's slowly reducing down. There it goes. Then add in the parts of the recipe that we want in there, but we don't want them cooked. We want them raw and crunchy, and that gives it the al dente component. And I don't know what al dente means, but I, I know I like it. The snow peas... Yep, they're perfect. Snow peas need to be just perfect. They're, they're just perfect. We put them in and you, they, they go into the recipe al dente. Al dente. 
not cooked, al dente. Keep, that up. Keep them al dente and that'll add texture, crunch and a bit of pizzazz to the dish. A bit of pizzazz. Some of my, some of my rival cooking bloggers don't know about the snow peas so they'll be climbing all over that once they see it. They won't have thought of that but I'm ahead of them. I've thought of it. Okay. And the bigger the snow pea, the bigger the peas, so the more flavour you get from the snow pea. So once again, I'll show it again. Taking that off, peel that back, chop this end off, and then chop off this top bit because the real flavour and nutrition is in the bottom part where the snow peas are. So the, the optional one is the tomato sauce. I like to include a little bit of tomato sauce because it gives it a bit of tang and also extra mojo and pizzazz as well into the recipe. So here it goes, watch this. Watch this into the recipe with the tomato sauce. It's a nice amount of sauce. Just trying to keep adding nice flavors into it that'll bring it up and make it a really nice dish. And the other thing, the other thing we like to now put in is the little packet of flavoring that was in the rice so That would be a bit silly to not to put that in. So there's the flavoring. Okay. Finally, I like to chop onto the top of it some parsley. Put this parsley here. I'll bring the dish over and put it there. It's cooked, it's ready. In, in goes the parsley. Finely chopped parsley is just beautiful. And just reducing the um, the dish down now and boiling the water away, cooking the rice, um, kind of uh, capturing the flavours out of all the ingredients. Okay, as normal, I've got my vlogging coach, Feely Mixed Vlogs, coaching me for this cooking video. And again, I'm going to thank her for her help. Thank you so much, Feely. There she is. Say hello. Hi. <laughs> Tell hello, guys. I am in my room. She's in her room. <laughs> and I am in my room watching Steve. And tell people where you, tell people where you live, Feely. Mixed vlogs. <laughs> I'm living inside my room. <laughs> true. Sad, but true. Very sad. Very true. Here's the dish. The dish is ready. Look at that. Now, one thing remains. One thing remains. The tasting. For the tasting, I have a, I have on my my lucky hat, and here we go. Rice arisa with beef mince, onions, capsicum, spring onions, snow peas, nuts, pineapple parsley, pepper, salt, and sauce. Mystery ingredient, satanas, but don't tell anyone. Here we go, we'll have, let's, let's see how this goes. Oh. Oh. Yeah, perfect. One more. I, I, I nearly blacked out when I ate that then. One more little taste. Bon appetit. <laughs> Molly! 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 I fainted. It was so good I fainted. Ah. Thank you very much. How am I going? <laughs> you can talk. This will be edited out. <laughs>